Hi guys and hello mga mathusiast. Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay finding the polynomial equation with integer coefficients given its roots. So, eto yung mga possible na mga examples na ma-encounter natin or ma-encounter ninyo kapag kayo ay kumukuha ng polynomial equation. Ngayon, kung gusto mo yung malaman, panoorin mo lang lahat ng example ko na yon dito. Pero bago natin simulan, siguraduhin muna na mapindot nyo na ngayon pa lang ang like button. Okay? At ang ating subscribe button kung bago ka pa lang sa ating YouTube channel. At syempre, ang ating mahiwagang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Sige, gawin mo na! Ayan, thank you for supporting me! And now, isusolve na natin! Okay, for number 1, we have to find a polynomial equation with integer coefficients that has the following roots. So, ang mga roots niya ay 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So, paano ba natin kukunin ang polynomial equation na ito? Tandaan nyo na itong 1, negative 2, negative 3, galing yan kay x equals to 1, x equals to negative 2, and x equals to negative 3. Okay, dyan siya nang galing, kaya mo nakuha yan. Ngayon, bago, tignan natin ha, i-analyze lang natin dito para alam nyo na pagpunta natin sa ibang example. Bago ito naging positive, saan siya nang galing? Kasi ba, balik tayo dun sa original niya. Bago natin nakuha si 1, ito ay galing dito, di ba? Kasi tinranspose lang naman natin si 1 dyan. So, ito, originally, this is x minus 1. Kasi positive siya dito, di ba? So, nung una, bago pa siya itinranspose, negative siya. So, x minus 1. Yan siya nung una. Bago nyo siya inequate kay 0. Okay, ito. Bago ito naging negative 2, nasan siya originally? Nandito siya sa kabila. So, from negative 2, dati siyang positive. So, x plus 2. Ito naman, bago siya naging negative 3, anong original niya? So, siya ngayon ay x plus 3. Okay, so ito, bago nyo, so ito lahat ay equals to 0. So ito, bago siya na factor na ganyan, diba kasi nag kinuha nyo lang naman yung mga factors na meron siyang pinanggalingan, yun yung nanay nila. So anong gagawin natin? Kailangan i-multiply natin itong tatlo. So para hindi kayo mahirapan, ito munang dalawa ha. So using the smile method, so x times x x squared. Ang tawag ko dyan, yung kilay. And then, yung bibig. Pag yung bibig, yun yung inner part, ha? Negative 1 times x is negative x. And then, yung baba. Yung baba, yun yung outer terms. x times 2 is positive 2x. And then, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Okay? So, times x plus 3 equals to 0. Pero, kailangan i-simplify muna natin ito. Kasi, similar term sila. So, x squared. Negative x plus 2x is 1. Diba? May negative 1 dito. Added to 2. So, 1 siya. Positive 1. So, positive x na lang. No need to write 1. Kasi, invisible na siya. Minus 2. Okay? Times x plus 3 equals to 0. Okay. So, tapos na yung dalawa. Yung isa naman, enter ko lang ito. Wait. So, ang i-distribute naman natin ito. So, unahin natin yung first term nito. Ito muna. So, x times x. Ah, uh, no. x times x squared, x raised to 3. Plus, x times x, x squared. O, tandaan ha, ina-add nyo yung exponent. x times negative 2, that will be negative 2x. Okay, so okay na tayo doon yung nasa 3 naman, yung second naman nating term. So, positive 3. So, 3 times x squared, that will be 
3x squared. So, plus 3x squared. And then, 3 times x plus 3x. And then, 3 times negative 2. That will be negative 6 equals to 0. Okay, now we combine similar terms. Okay, yung mga magkakapareho ng literal coefficient pagsasamahin natin. Since wala namang x cubed dyan, x cubed na dito. Wala naman tayong i-add. Now, x squared and then 3x squared pag in natin. So, 1 plus 3 is 4x squared. So, wala na to. Next, negative 2 and then plus 3x. So, dahil sila ay magkaiba ng sign, ima-minus mo sila. So, 3 minus 2 is 1. Dahil mas, mata mas mataas ito, positive yan. Positive x na lang. No need to write 1. And dahil si negative 6, wala namang kakomon. Negative 6 na lang siya. Equals to 0. O, ayan na yung sagot. Ang dali naman nito. Okay? Now, sa number 2, we have positive, negative 1, and then 3. Ito, ibig sabihin nito, isang positive 1, isang negative 1. So, ibig sabihin, x equals 1, x is equal to negative 1, and then x equals to 3. Ano ito bago maging positive 1? That will be x minus 1. Bago maging negative 1 ito, positive muna siya, so x plus 1. Bago ito maging positive 3, okay, ito muna ay x minus 3. Okay, equals to 0. And then, multiply ulit. x squared, negative x, positive x, negative 1. Okay, times x minus 3 equals 0. Pero hindi mo pa pwedeng i-distribute kasi may kailangan ka pang i-simplify dito. Negative x k plus x is 0. So, you will have your x squared minus 1. Okay. Times x minus 3 equals to 0. Okay. Now, distribute na. x times x squared. x raised to 3. x times negative x negative. Ah, sorry. x times negative 1 is negative x. And then, ito naman, negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3 equals to 0. Ngayon, wala naman na tayong i-combine dyan kasi cube, degree of 1 squared, tapos constant to. Ang kailangan na lang natin is i-rearrange. Dapat from highest degree to smaller, uh, highest to lowest, or dapat in descending order. So, we have your x minus 3. Dapat mauuna si 3x squared minus x plus 3 equals to 0. So, ayan na ang sagot natin. Yehey! Okay, now for number 3, we have here, oh, so dalawa ulit ito, dalawa ito. So, we will have your x, uh, x is equal to 2, sorry, x is equal to 2, wait, x is equal to negative 2, and then x is equal to 3, and then x, ay, sorry, wait, na-advance. x equals to 3, and then x is equal to negative 3, kasi sila ay tigda dalawa, isang positive, isang negative. Okay, so bago to naging positive, this will be x minus 2. Ah, x minus 2 muna siya. Bago naging negative 2 to, ito ay x plus 2. Ito, bago ito, naging ganyan, that's x minus 3 muna. And then, ito ay x plus 3 equals to 0. Okay, so partner, partner muna tayo para mabilis ha. So, ito muna. This will be, what? Aha, first term, x squared, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. x times 2 is 2x. And then, negative 2 times 2 is a 4. Okay, eto muna. Tapos, yun nandito naman. So, we'll have your x squared, negative 3x, positive 3x, and then negative 9 equals to 0. Okay na to ha. Binibilisan ko na kasi madali lang naman yung foil method natin or yung smile method natin. Now, ito ay simplify natin. Negative 2x plus 2x is simply 0. Kaya, ang matitira ay x squared plus a 4. 
Okay? Dito din sa kabila, ito maka-cancel, ito maka-cancel din. Kaya ang matitira dito ay x squared. Ay, sorry. This, this is not positive. Sorry. Correction. Okay? So, negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. Ito. Kaya ang sign natin dito ay negative. Napansin nyo ba yun? O ako lang nakapansin, ha? I-comment nga. Baka na-excite si ma'am. So, this is negative. And then, this will be negative 9 equals to 0. And then, sila naman yung ifa-fall natin kasi binomial ulit. Ayan. So, foil natin ulit first term to first term. You will have x raised to 4. Negative 4 times x squared is negative 4 x squared. Okay, x squared times negative 9 is negative 9 x squared. And then, negative 4 times negative 9 is positive 36 equals to 0. Okay, so pwede natin i-combine ito. So, we will have your x raised to 4. What is negative 4 x minus 9 x squared? Ang ginagawa ko dyan is we do KCC. We keep, we change, and then we change. Ganun kami pag sa subtraction, ha? Pero kung kaya nyo naman na isipin na negative 4 minus 9, di ba? I change the sign of the subtrend and then proceed to addition. Ganun din naman yun. Shortcut lang tong ginawa ko. So, this will be negative 13x squared plus, o yan ito, raised to 4 to ha, plus 36 equals to 0. Oh, this is x raised to 4. Ayusin ko lang ha, baka nalito kayo. So, this will be, copy lang ito kasi hindi mo naman siya, wala kang isasama sa kanya. So, x raised to 4 minus 13x squared plus 36 equals to 0. So, this will be the answer. Now, are you excited sa may fraction? Ha, baka mamaya iniisip nyo, halang hirap nito kasi may fraction. Hindi. Sobrang dali lang din ito gagawin. So, paano ba natin siya gagawin? So, ito ay x equals to, wait, x equals to 2 over 5, ito yun, and then x is equal to 1 half, and then positive negative, so isang x is equal to 3, saka isang x is equal to negative 3. Okay, now, bago, ka, bago yung 5, mapunta dito, nasaan ba siya? Bago, uh, bago siya naging ano, denominator na 5. Ito ay originally nasa tabi ni x. Kasi, kaya siya napunta dyan as denominator, dinivide natin ito by 5. Diba, na-cancel natin to. Ito, since hindi sila divisible, kaya naging fraction sila. So, originally, ito ay 5x equals to 2. Tapos, ililipat mo yung 2 dahil positive siya dito. Nung una, siya ay negative 2. So, this will be 5x minus 2. O, explain ko nga ng mas maayos. This is a 5x minus 2. Ipakita ko na ito yung lalabas, ha? Equals to 0. So, ito, ililipat mo sa kabila. Matitira dito ay 5x is equal to positive 2. Okay? Then, dinivide mo siya, ba By 5 para maging x na lang siya. Kaya, x is equal to 2 over 5. Ayun, yun. So, bago siya naging ganyan, ito siya. Okay? O, so, fraction pa rin ito. Ganun lang din ang gawin natin. Itong 2, yan ay originally katabi ni x. Kaya, ito ay 2x. Ito, kaya siya naging uh, positive 1 kasi nung unang panahon, <laughs> dahil originally siya ay minus 1. So, ayan na. Ito, alam naman natin siya dahil positive 3 siya dyan, negative siya nung una. Ito, negative 3, siya ay positive 3. Equals to 0. And then, we multiply, ha? Smile method, 5 times 2 is 10x squared. O, uh, yung bibig, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4x. Yung baba, yun yung outer term, 5x times negative 1 is negative 5x. And then, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. O, kaya yan tinawag kong smile. Ayan, nakasmile na siya. Okay, and then, uh, copy lang muna to kasi hindi pa tayo tapos dun sa kabila. Okay, copy. And then, isimplify natin to Similar terms, negative 4x minus 5 ilan? 
10 x squared. So, negative 4. So, KCC lang natin yan kasi subtraction yan. So, this will be positive. This is negative. Negative 4 plus negative 5 now is negative 9 x. Okay? Plus 2. So, okay na tayo dito. Dito naman tayo. So, x times x x squared, bibig natin is negative 3 times x, negative 3x. And then, x times 3, that will be positive 3x. And then, negative 3 times positive 3, that will be negative 9. Okay, equals to 0. Pero, ito, pag in natin ay 0 na lang siya. So, we will have here now 10x squared minus 9x plus 2. Okay, i-multiply natin siya with x squared minus 9 equals to 0. O, andali na lang to, i-distribute na lang natin ha. Ito, multiply dito. So, you will have here 10x raised to 4. This one is negative 9. x times x squared is negative 9x raised to 3. x squared times 2 is positive 2x squared. Okay, and then si negative 9. Negative 9 times 10x squared is negative 90x squared. Negative 9 times negative 9x is negative, oh no, it's positive 81x. Kasi negative times negative is positive. And then negative 9 times 2 is negative 18 equals to 0. Okay, now we combine similar terms. I, sorry. So, hindi ito squared. Ano dapat yan? Sino nakapansin? <laughs> diba 10x squared times x squared is 10x raised to 4. Nasanay kasi tayo sa pagsulat ng squared. So, this is 10x raised to 4 ha. So, dahil wala namang x raised to 4 dyan na iba, kundi siya lang, kape lang siya. Okay, dito din wala ring cube. So, negative 9x cubed, copy lang. Ito, pwede natin i-simplify. So, dahil dissimilar sign sila, we subtract. So, 88x, 88x squared. Dahil mas mataas si negative, negative siya. Okay, wala na tayong x dyan. So, plus 81x. And then, minus, wala na rin para sa constant term. So, copy na lang siya. 18 equals to 0. So, eto na ang ating polynomial equation. So, ganun lang siya kadali pag fraction. Okay, ngayon kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, please wag kalimutang mag-comment dyan kung ito ay naintindihan nyo ba, kung napadali ba ang buhay nyo, o kahit simpleng thank you. Kasi, uh, kasi uh, sobrang mahalaga yung mga comment pagdating sa mga YouTube channel ha kaya wag mo nang ipagkait sa akin yan at syempre share mo din to sa iba para hindi lang naman ikaw ang nadadalian kay Matt at wag kalimutan i-follow ang ating page Love Matt ha i-follow mo na siya okay at i-spread natin ang pagmamahal sa Matt thank you and bye